What is going on, everyone? Well, oh, figure just as soon as I turn it on. Oh, excuse me. Wow. Anyway, oh, day number three here on the edge of Appalachia is winding down. I have went ahead and moved myself into the tent, and I'm just going to hang out and relax for the remainder of the night. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock at night. See a little rundown for the day. What all has went on? I got up this morning. Had uh, cinnamon, apple and cinnamon uh, oats for breakfast. It was really good. Uh, I had navy beans and banana peppers dehydrated. That is for uh, lunch. It was also very good. And then I got in about I want to say maybe 20 minutes of fishing. I'm guessing on that. Caught that one up. Uh, kill me with these yawns, y'all. As soon as I turn on the, the camera to do a video, I start yawning. I, I I don't get it. But anyhow, caught that one little bass. He's a little guy, maybe about that long or something. Still pretty cool. I did enjoy, you know, catching him and of course he got to go free. Oh, no, no, for dinner, had that dehydrated chili. <laughs> wow, it was delicious. Yeah, no, you know, some people say, oh, well, you shouldn't eat your old camp food. And it's like, what? You know, if you take the time and, you know, you cook your camp food properly, you dehydrate it properly, and you vacuum seal it, it'll last for years and years. You know, it can't go bad if oxygen can't get to it. You know, and one of the main keys is if your camp meal is going to have, uh, you know, meat in it, such as turkey or chicken or, or hamburger or whatever, you want the as lean as you can possibly get. And that way, you know, your fat at the same time cannot cause, you know, your meals to go rancid. up will last you 25 years. So that's the way to roll. All right. Anything else going on? Not really. I did hear a big old fish jump, or splash, I should say, down down there in the water. He sounded rather large, whatever he was. So, other than that, not a thing going on. I'm going to sit here in this tent. I'm going to sit here and just relax. I'm going to bust out some Sopranos, or you know, everybody loves Raymond. So I do have that box set with me as well, and uh, I'm going to sit back and enjoy a little bit of that. Well, since it is the red light video, which is the end of the night, and, uh, you know, there won't be anything going on after this, you know what time it is. It is beer time. we got the Rolling Rock going on again. I think I will continue to uh, enjoy the Rolling Rocks until they're gone. And then I also have some hams with me, and I think that will be the next in line when the rolling rocks have disappeared. So anyhow, let's crack the can there. Cheers, everyone. Cheers to uh, the Alzheimer's Adventure for a Cure, Season 3 Redux, The Edge of Appalachia. Uh, 29 nights alone on the edge of Appalachia to raise awareness of Alzheimer's and dementia. So cheers to that, y'all. Well, it's so good, y'all. After a whole day of, you know, doing this and doing that, and ice cold beer really hits the spot. Although, I have taken a couple of uh, swigs out of this here Rolling Rock, and it's a full size beer. I do not normally chug, of course, a full-size beer. Uh, on last year's Adventure for a Cure, Season 2, Deep Woods, uh, every night I had the little beers. It's about seven inches, or, uh, seven ounces, and uh, the Little King's Cream Ale. Delicious stuff. But uh, I would hug one of them every night in memory of my brother. Uh, he used to like to 
hug a beer every night. You know, it was first beer of the night is the one that he would hug. And uh, to him, that meant chug a beer. But anyhow, I have not tried to chug a full-size beer in a long time. Uh, it's not normally my thing. But on an adventure, and like I say, in memory of my brother, we're going to, what's left of this one, we're going to try to make it gone and see if I can actually accomplish this. All right, y'all, here we go. Wow. Wow. Excuse me, y'all. Dang, <laughs> that was good. Oh, wow. Who would have thunk it, you know, hugging a beer? And I, I know I told the story for last year's events for a cure, but my brother called it hugging a beer. And I never talked to him about it or asked him why he called it hugging a beer. But now that he is gone and stuff, and I've thought about it over the years, you know, I'm pretty sure he just knocked the word C off of the word chug and turned it into hug, you know, so hug a bear. Yep, he was something. I miss that old boy. Me and him had a lot of good times together. Let's see, is there anything else going on? Of course, other than me losing my uh, vape, which that is not super amazing since it is in the dark. Aha, I found it. Let's see. Well, I think it pretty much covers today's activities. Let me think on the matter real quick. No, that's, that's really, I guess that's about it. If anything, as I said last night, fantastical should happen. You know, I will come back on and maybe do a... Uh, a little bit of after the red light video, which is not a normal thing. As a lot of people will know, it's usually it for me for the day. Once the red light is done, it's that's the stoplight, y'all. And I guess I will let you go and uh, catch y'all in the morning for, you know, the coffee and oats. And uh, as I always try to say, and sometimes I may forget, but wherever you are or whatever you may be doing, I do indeed hope you're having a good time of it and not having too much of a hassle while you're at it. And uh, that to do it. Good night for uh, day three, y'all. Bye for now.